Yesterday I harvested all of my onion, leek onion, or I don't know what kind of onions they were, they are. But I went on and pulled these up out of the ground. And I'm wondering if I should have left the root in the ground for nutrients for the soil. But also as I was pulling out the onions, I want I forgot I wanted this to stay in the ground so I could gather the seeds, take off the seeds once they turn black, the tops of this turn black, the black seeds appear. But dang, I made a mistake and pulled it up out of the ground. So I'm sitting it here in the window. I don't know what it's going to do, if it dies or what, I don't know. But I was intending to pull the black seeds off of the top of that, um, that part that came from the onions but now I'm going to go outside and show I think I'm going to well, wait us not think I am going to harvest my beans so I can keep motivating the growth um, and I mean it has gone up to the top it's going up the tree so what I'm going to do is harvest some of these beans so that it can promote new growth. And hopefully I can get between my branches without knocking it down. But to promote new growth, I'm pulling off. Oh, wow. I mean, it's tall. And I, oh, wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow. I don't know how I'm gonna get those. I would need a, a little step stool to um pull the higher ones up there. But the ones that look like they're about ready, I'm taking them off so that way it can produce a lot more. I'm thankful, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I hope these are ready, but um, yeah, I am thankful. <laughs> this is so awesome. This is so awesome. Let's see. And it's been cold out here for the past few nights. It's been getting really cold. So I'm hoping that's why a lot of the leaves are turning yellow because of the weather affecting it and not because of, you know, some other reason. But let's see. Um... Any more? I guess that one, I don't know. I'll take it anyway. Let's see any more. Yeah, the onions, they are very good. I, I love the way they taste raw. I had been eating a couple of them raw, and boy, the, glad I don't have someone staying with me to smell my breath because it was oniony. And also, I um, I pickled my neighbor next door. He has a friend that keeps giving him food from his garden, squash. Uh, tomatoes and string beans and what I did with the string beans he gave me I pickled them so that's something that you may want to consider also um, I experienced pickling them I didn't ferment to ferment them I pickled them uh, these are cucumbers I would assume 
again it's a couple of those growing and I think they said something about the reason it turns out with the tip coming like that on the cucumber it's because of the weather here's another one yeah I believe it's because of the weather um, and the okra I don't know if it's time I, don't, I, I know it shouldn't be time to pick those yet but the onions I might go ahead and pull these up as well because I don't think they're gonna grow a big bulb onion at the bottom so I'll just take go ahead and take these in as well because sooner or later I don't think I may let the grass grow back in these and um, put the garden over there on that side because of the reason my basement may be uh, getting water in it when it rains but thank God I've kind of used my imagination and created a way the water hasn't been getting in there uh, from the contraptions that I have set up and but I'm gonna go ahead and pull these onions up as well the tomatoes are finally changing colors wow they're changing colors and I can't see what the camera is showing it's dark because of the sun but there's a lot of them there's quite a few of them here yeah I've even learned how to prune them, the ones that grow between the two branches. You um, take the middle one out, take these middle ones out, so it'll promote more growth, you know, just on the main stems instead of growing other branches out. It'll stay focused on the main stems. Do I see any more of those? I kind of keep them plucked, the ones that be in the middle of the two main things. If they're growing up in the middle, I pluck them. Okay, let's see any more to be pruned on this one. See, here's one right there. Prune it as well so it don't be so wild. And... Uh, the other day I fertilized it with my compost tea I think I want to pull these up no that's mighty tough to pull up I'll leave those in there let's show you what the watermelon hope the watermelon they're staying pretty much uh -oh, pretty much oh, it's dark in my camera pretty much uh, strong got two big ones they gaining some size um this one there there's quite a few of them up under here sound like i heard huh? but yeah there's about four or five of them covered all up under here and Let's see. But yeah, I uh, a couple of days ago, I put my compost tea from my food scraps. Uh, I guess that's what it's called, compost tea. So uh, maybe that uh, gave the tomatoes its reason to start putting color. But um, when I collect my food scraps in the house... I just go ahead and put it all in here but basically what I've also started doing even my uh, coffee grinds I put in here as well but what I've started doing instead of kind of putting my food scraps inside of the tea because I got so much 
I need to start fertilizing. Oh, I don't know if I showed the garlic bed. I cleared all of that out and put cardboard down and I mowed half of the grass and put a lot of the grass clippings on top. But what I do with my food scraps from the inside of the house, I keep in a plastic bag in my refrigerator is I've started putting it in this compost and um this is a lot of see it's, it's different stuff cardboard food scraps all within the middle of here and what i plan to do is make this a bed and make this a uh, garden bed or i may yeah, this would be a garden bed section right here and then somewhere else. But I don't think I'm going to have the garden bed on that side too much anymore. This is the little avocado tree. A lot of the avocados and mango, they're coming along real well. But this is a new one that's starting to branch up. And I see a baby one right there. I don't know if anything coming out of that one yet. But let me walk down and check on my potatoes. One thing about this soil, I was digging my finger through it and it, I couldn't imagine a little root trying to push through that thickness of that soil. It was hardish to me. So that's why I think I'm going to keep make the beds, garden beds, new beds where the uh, the soil could be more softer for the roots to go through because that could be why maybe my onions and I don't even know if I hope the potatoes can grow with all of this hard thick soil native soil but that seemed real light me digging my thumb finger through here that seemed light Oh, yeah, my finger went way through it, so potatoes might be happy growing in this. Oh, yeah, that's very light. And But this is going to be another bed, and maybe this might be a bed, but that's a lot of wood up under there. I'll have to check and see what's going on up under there. But once that stuff breaks down, it becomes soil and these are some more tomato plants that's growing and I've been kind of pruning it so they could stay along the main lint stem so they don't grow all wide open I could prune the little uh, new growths from between the branches there I have to get a tomato cage for that when it starts growing up taller but I'm thankful for the new growth of everything and what's going on so far let me dig my finger in this soil because I see this is very hard that is that hurt that's hard to push through so I hope my peanuts can grow underground and you know, I think that's one reason why I'm not going to put the garden back on this side. Once I harvest and take up this stuff, it'll be used for compost to make new soil. But let me try this soil. This soil, oh, it's not too, too thick. But um, when I first started these beds, I put down a whole bunch of food scraps and cardboard, but now I've learned how to make soil from the grass clippings and wood chips. And when it breaks down, you know, that'll make a top to put over the hard native soil. See, that's hard as a brick to dig through. And I can't picture anything trying to grow as a, a root vegetable, potatoes and stuff. 
So yeah, my peanuts, I don't know, man. That is hard as a brick. And and I wonder if this is corn because for an experiment, I planted the whole corn on the cob and I don't know if this is weed or corn. But um I'm leaving it alone because I know I planted that corn on the cob somewhere over here. I might have covered some of it up with these bricks, but I'm leaving it alone because that could very well be the corn. I'll probably look on one of those apps or Google Lens to see what they say it is. But yeah, I'm going to redo these beds by putting... Uh, uh, if I, you know, plant the seeds directly, I got to make sure that it's soft soil. So I will be putting, uh, you know, compost on top of it. My own compost and stuff I'm going to try to make like I did this here. And take it one day at a time. Let me get a couple of more of these beans. But yeah, this is a journey that I have enjoyed. Yes, yes, yes. I'm thankful. Thankful, thankful, thankful. Oh boy. So, me taking a break on the fall garden. I'm learning and finding out how to still manage this garden that I have so far. But here's maybe my second or third harvest. First was the potatoes. Then was my turnips or mustards, whichever one they were. I think they were turnips. And my onions, string beans. Ah, onions and string beans. I'm going to probably eat these today for lunch. And yeah, so thank God for that. Oh, let me show you the avocado and mango tree so far. I think this is the mango and that's a mango, I believe. And this might be the avocado. I think that's the avocado. If not, it's backwards, but whether avocado or mango. But I believe these are mangoes and these are avocados. All right. That's the update on Wanda's garden. Okay, yeah, I did have it backwards. These are mango. And these are avocados. That's an avocado. And I forgot what kind of big bulbs these were. I bought those from Walmart. They took a long time to come up, but once they did, they're growing. And I believe they're going to die back and grow back up again. So, but yeah, I'm enjoying the journey. Have a blessed day.